I'm Shane Anderson, real estate agent for Century 21, Gustafson, Krogman, and Associates. Being a successful real estate agent isn't as easy as just selling a lot of homes. It takes a lot of strategy and community involvement to be truly successful in today's marketplace. When I began in 2009, I had to set realistic goals for my real estate business. And a big part of that is sharing knowledge and expertise with others in the community. And I hope one day I can share that with you. Hey everybody, how you doing? Shane here from the Brookings Home Team, powered by Century 21. I'm in my tie. It is the month of November. That must mean I'm next to a couple business owners. This is the November downtown locally owned featured Brookings business for the month of November. And I'm here with Kathy and Costa from uh, Mixed Dry Cleaning. And uh, they're going to talk a little bit about their dry cleaning business, what they can maybe do for you. And then maybe ask you guys some questions here after the video. So thanks for agreeing to do this here for the month of November. I appreciate it. Um, Costa, we were talking a little bit off camera here on some of the stuff that you as dry cleaning company can do um, that maybe not necessarily other companies uh, com competition does. Can, can you want to explain a little well, bit about Shane, that? Well Shane, we're a full uh, dry cleaner. We uh, offer uh, all the amenities for dry cleaning. Uh, alterations, laundry, leather cleaning, wedding preservation. Okay. Love to have our customers to come in and say hello to them and greet them as family okay and and i did get that when i came in here so and i know you for quite a while so uh, uh it's, it's just kind of a, a gimme there but uh um kathy uh, he did mention a little bit about wedding preservations and stuff what what kind of goes in with that what that is a service that you offer it is we know that a wedding is a very special day for a couple and especially for the bride so we want to take care of your wedding dress we clean them steam them and if you like we can preserve the dress too so it's guaranteed not to yellow and become a keepsake for your family okay. and kind of along the lines of what Costa said we're a mom and a pop so this <laughs> business is an extension of ourselves so we take pride in providing really good customer service and making sure that we do the very best that we can for our customer, okay. good quality product. And that's why we do all of our dry cleaning in-house. And that was one thing that yeah, yes. we wanted to specify. Everything's done in-house, nothing's shipped out anywhere, correct? Well, the only thing that's shipped oh. out are leather coats oh. and suede jackets. And that yes. requires a special technique that we don't do here. But we use, have used that company for well and over... And rugs, too. Yep. So we rug, can do rugs well cleaning. over 30, yeah. 35 years, and they do an awesome job. We only yeah. partner with good quality. Sure, perfect. Now, how long have you guys been here in, in this spot? Uh, since 1982. 82. In fact, November 1st will be 36 years. Okay. And I'm way younger than Costa, so I've only been here 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time they, they're seeing this, it, you'll have your 36th yes, anniversary. We're excited then. Yes, we're about that. Yes, so, yes. Be, yeah, yeah, we're in, getting close to that 40-year yeah. mark. Okay. You know, so. What is your favorite machine back there? Would you like to use the most? Ah, uh, my dry cleaning machine. Yeah. You know, that's a German-made machine, and uh, we purchased that uh, a few years ago, and it's done very well. Um, Kathy, what do you like about downtown Brookings? Why, why downtown Brookings? I think downtown's the heart of the community. You can find everything that you need here, from retailers to service people. We're here, of course, but there's a real energy downtown. I love the historic feel of the buildings and then just the hustle and bustle of downtown. I, I hear that part a lot, yeah. so it's kind of interesting. It's now, a special place. It is, <clears throat> and you did mention the historic buildings, yes. and, and, and that's what's interesting to me. And again, what, Costa, what were you saying, what's the history of this particular building Well, here? one time, uh, I believe uh, the history of the building was uh, a theater at uh, wow. Meat Locker, Auto Parts Store, Okay. You know, it uh, it has some history, but I'm not quite, you know, not positive of the positive timeline. Of the time, exactly. you know, sure, but, but it's uh, been a dry cleaners yes. for many years before we yes. purchased yeah. it. Not a lot of people know the exact hit, you know, time frame. So it's just yeah. kind of inter interesting yeah. to hear that part of it. But uh, all right, one other quick question: What's the most unique thing that you have dry cleaned here? Uh, you you <laughs> were. Uh, <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. We had a customer who had a sizable amount of cash in their pocket. Okay. And, um, they got diesel fuel on their clothing uh -huh. and on the cash. So 
my husband actually dry cleaned about seven hundred, eight hundred dollars of cash. So it was That's, an interesting thing. It was an experiment because yeah, we didn't we've know. Never dry cleaned yeah, money, money before. before. No. So that, no, that's a, just a, like the old sayings is uh, laundering yeah, money, money laundering. You know, well, money laundering. We dry cleaned cash, and then it came out beautifully. We pressed it for the customer, wow. and they were very happy that they got their money back like that, along with their clothing. It looked so. just off, fresh off the press. Yes, then, yeah. Yes. They trusted us with all that money. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, he either could try it or he couldn't, and yes. uh, you know he was, yeah. wasn't out much. I guess no, it right. came it, out great. It didn't work out. Right. Perfect. Well, thank you for for thank doing this with me. I appreciate coming. it. For people to get all of you, uh, address. What is your address? Four fourteen Fourth Street. That's downtown. We're located across from Swiftel Communications, mm -hmm. and by the museum, the Children's Museum. So uh, we've been here many, many years and many years to go. Okay. And we're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 6, and Saturdays 8 to 1. Okay. And phone number, how can they get a hold of you? 605-692-4132. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you, everybody, for watching. That concludes the November, October, the November uh, downtown locally owned featured business here. Uh, stay tuned for our December one. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody watching. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're seeing this before Thanksgiving, if it's after Thanksgiving, then I guess Merry Christmas. Sir. <laughs> okay. um, can you say something in Greek? I want to hear, hear something in Greek there. Tikanis, that means how are you? Perfect. Mm -hmm. So, Tikanis. Yasu. Nice Yasu. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you later. <laughs>